Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew so Essential and I'm here today with the patterns, fabrics and some tutorials that you could use to sew along with the bees from the Sewing Bee Week 6 Series 9 Children's Week. So the first challenge for the bees this week was to sew a children's dressing gown. It was a dragon themed dressing gown and um, there were quite a lot of challenges involved in that for them. We haven't got a dragon dressing gown pattern but we have got a dragon and dinosaur themed um, onesie pattern which I thought was really cool and it is Simplicity 1765 so you've got options for a dinosaur or dragon theme. You can make cute little wings to go with it and you can even even make a matching outfit for your dog as well so got it all in there it would make great um, Christmas or birthday presents for children I'm sure um, we haven't got any fleece fabric which is what's recommended but we have got sweatshirt fabrics that you could possibly use for this um, but I think I might be tempted to go for the fleece but I'll pop a link to the pattern and any fabrics I mentioned they'll all be linked below as will the tutorials that I think were really relevant this week so when the bees did the dressing gown challenge one of the things they had to do was attach a bias binding to finish it nice and neatly and some of them really struggled with that one in particular apparently used several different methods on the way round um, so I just thought it was worth mentioning I created a really good tutorial on our channel for seven different ways to use bias binding so I'm going to pop a link for that below for you in case it piqued your interest last night I'm also going to pop a link to a tutorial where I showed you how to use bias binder feet on your sewing machine and then I'm also going to pop a link to a video I made of a really cool bias tape maker machine that we've got on the website where you feed in strips of fabric press a button and it folds it presses it and it comes out the other end as like ready-made bias binding it's amazing so I'm going to pop links to all of those below in case you thought oh I want to have a go at that technique and perfect that it's all there you'll be able to do it so next on to the made to measure challenge. So the bees had to create a party outfit for their little models. So there were lots of cute dresses, lots of cool ideas. Lizzie came up with something really original, which I loved. Um, yeah, just lots of lovely sewing. So the first um, dress I picked out was a dress that Mia made and it was a little sleeveless dress with a waistband um, a bow, big bow at the back and um, I chose Simplicity 9154 for this pattern. I thought it was a very similar shape, it's a sleeveless dress, it has got a cute little collar but you could omit that if you wanted to. It's got a bow on the back and it's also, well it's a, a separate bow, it's like a waistband bow that you tie and it's buttons down the back as well which Mia's dress was as well. I thought that was really cute and I thought it would look really pretty sewn up in this gorgeous cornflower blue cotton fabric with a little white spot thought that would look really really pretty um, and perfect for a party the next pattern is uh, the dress was sort of gave me the idea for the dress that Tony made. He made a sleeveless dress again um, with a fuller skirt and then there was a big bow on the front and he put some little rhinestones around the neckline which I thought was lovely. He made it in scuba for some real drama and volume and actually we do have some... Um, stretch crepe fabric on the website that you could use if you wanted to attempt that same challenge that Tony did. I'll pop a link to it below. We've got it in ivory so you could recreate the look. Um, this pattern doesn't recommend using scuba but I'm sure the pattern Tony used probably didn't and he just went for it so I will pop a link to that below. Um, but the pattern is New Look 6548 and it's got um, different options for sleeveless, uh, dresses, it's got a little v-neck, um, uh, gathered um, full skirt and then it's got options for a bow on the front and also little sleeves as well um, and other little trimmings and things. There's lots of ideas. There's, there's also an option for a cute little puff sleeve tied um, with a little tie. Um, so yeah, New Look 6548 I thought was a really cute pattern and you could re recreate Tony's look with that. Sticking with the recommendations on the pattern packet of cottons and those sorts of fabrics which generally are great for kids because they're hard wearing 
and cool as well for summer. I thought this seven berry um, print was really pretty and would look lovely sewn up into the sleeveless version of that for a party dress for a little girl. So that was that one. I'm kind of thinking summer parties here as well, seeing as we are in the height of summer. The next pattern I want to share um, was the one that I thought was really, oh, I just loved it. And it was a shame, actually. I don't want to give too much away, but it didn't quite go according to plan. But Lizzie um, went for, she made a little girl's outfit, but she went for a waistcoat and then like a tiered sort of rah-rah skirt um, and little Doc Martin boots. And it just was, she said, I didn't like wearing party dresses when I was a little girl and neither did I. I was always in my dungarees when I was a little girl. Um, she said, so I wanted to make something Thing that was a bit different and I loved the fact that she did that so I picked out McCall 7223 which is a cute little waistcoat pack uh, Cusely waistcoat pattern, very contemporary and on trend at the moment. Loads of people, adults are wearing waistcoats with nothing underneath and trousers. And I thought, well, why not you give your child a really super contemporary look as well? So that was the one that I chose for that. And then I thought our faux silk Jupion would look great, um, sewn up into that in this lovely pink colourway. It's a really beautiful sort of slubby, um, John Caldor fabric and yeah that would look lovely sewn up into that waistcoat and then you could make a cute little um, rah-rah skirt to go with it. The next pattern was uh, to recreate the look that Vicky made. It's Burda 9332. Um, I'll pop links to all of these below and the fabrics as well. Um, there's two options with this dress. Um, both of them have got long sleeves, which Vicky's dress did have, um, a little collar, and then the version that I think reminded me of Vicky's has got like a little tie, a couple of buttons, and then it's got a tiered skirt. Um, and then the other option has just got a flared sort of A-line skirt, but it was the tiered one I was thinking of to recreate the look that Vicky made. And again, another nice cotton fabric that you could sew that up in. I thought it would look really pretty in this cotton. I think it's either a cotton lawn or a cotton poplin. All the details are on the website, but it's got this cute little floral print, reds and blues, really pretty. Very sort of Laura Ashley looking if you created that dress, I think, with that fabric. Next up is Asma's dress. She made, um, it was very much like a princess dress, I would describe it as. It had like a crisscross um, across the front. It had a full skirt that she, I think she made with chul or net. And it had like um, handkerchief hem, um, very, very pretty, very cute. And the pattern I chose to recreate something similar was Simplicity 1303, which is a roundup of different princess dresses. Um, one of them has got that crisscross ribbon across the front that Asthma's had. Like they've all got quite full sort of skirts and you could easily recreate that handkerchief hem yourself by just cutting the pieces um, as you want them. So that was the one I chose for that. We haven't really got the sorts of fabrics, we haven't got chul and net and things like that that you might want to use to create this one. So I haven't included any fabrics for it, um, but a really lovely pattern if you have got um, a child that would like to wear princess dresses and quite a few different versions in there for you to play around with a lot of fun to sew, I'm sure. The next one, I think um, Lizzie's was my favourite, the waistcoat and the rah-rah skirt and the dock boots, loved that. Second favourite was Lauren's and I think this pattern's pretty similar to Lauren's. Um, yeah, kind of similar, but very much on a similar theme. It's Simplicity 9559. It's a really beautiful, lovely, oh, it's so cute. Um, a little sort of sundress almost with really ruffled. It's got two straps, but the straps are gathered and ruffled. Um, so they're really pretty and they're attached to a gathered sort of relatively full skirt. And then there's a false blouse underneath, which was the bit that reminded me of Lauren's dress. So it's got a false blouse underneath with two little buttons, little puff sleeves. But then there's also an option to just do a sundress with it. There's an option to do a cute little top and some loose fitting trousers. You can make a little bag for them as well. And there's even a little ruffled headband to match the ruffled straps on the dress so much fun in this pattern. I mean, I don't sew for any of the children in my life. I'm a very selfish sewer. 
uh, but this one is very tempting. I think it'd be a lot of fun to sew. And I thought it would look really cute sewn up in this cotton fabric with the floral prints, those pretty yellows and purples. And then you could just put the white, make the white blouse to go underneath it as well. And then finally, Fauve decided to break the mould as well and go for a jumpsuit rather than a dress. Um, she made a jumpsuit that was sort of quite, um, it had little sleeves and it didn't have any fastenings. This one has got fastenings, but they're just purely for decoration. To be honest, it looks like you would be able to get it on and off without the fastenings. Um, so I chose this pattern for that reason, really. It's kind of like got a t-shirt shaped bodice. Um, you've got options for a full length trouser. You can make a dress. You can make a, a romper or play suit. Um, the full length trousers are a bit cropped like Fauves were. Um, and yeah, it's got little patched pockets if you want them. It's got a little zip down the front, but I'm sure you could omit the zip if you wanted something more plain and simple like Fauve made. Um, it's New Look 6612. And uh, yeah, just another pattern with a lot of mileage in. I think you could get a lot of little outfits for your little ones out of that. And I thought it would look lovely sewn up in this cotton fabric. It's a John Caldor print. I made a sundress in this last year and I absolutely love it. It's got a really silky soft sort of feel to it, which is nice for nice and comfortable for kids. And I just thought, yeah, that would look really pretty sewn up in that. So I hope you've enjoyed that today. Check out all the links below, all the patterns, fabrics, tutorials, everything, they're all there. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. And do sign up for our newsletter as well. I'll pop a link below for you. We've now got a page that takes you straight to the um, form to fill in for the newsletter if you're interested in that. And I hope you've enjoyed it today and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.